Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad with a video tutorial on C programming. So, in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna have a look at the time and date functions in C. So, uh, before you know starting this tutorial, if you want to use the time and date in your program, you need to include the time.h header file. Okay, now uh, before explaining, uh, you know, uh, the functions that we're gonna use, uh, I want you guys to go and open up the my computer and uh, go to the location where you guys have installed the div cpp so mine is in the local disk c and open up that folder and uh, you know open up the include folder and then uh, and go and open up the time.h okay go and uh, op uh, open it up i'm gonna open up that one in uh, the notepad plus plus if you guys don't have notepad plus plus you can open up uh, it in uh, you know the notepad which is available with windows okay this is a time.h this time.h header file is gonna define three time related types so they are um, clock underscore t time underscore t and a structure called uh, tm so first I want you guys to you know scroll down and um, you know these are the uh, some constants that are defined by this uh, header file and here you guys can see the data type time underscore t which is nothing but another name for you know long long type this time underscore t is a type for storing the current time and date this is a number of seconds since the midnight of you know January 1 1970 so next I want you guys to you know scroll down to you know this clock underscore t this is a type for measuring the processor time so this time underscore t and this clock underscore t can store the time in some sort of integer and um, this is called the calendar time so the next important uh, type related to time uh, which is available in time.h is the structure called tm so this structure holds the date and time broken down into the elements so this structure contains the following members you can see here which is uh, time underscore sec for storing the seconds minutes hour uh, you know uh, day of the month then month year you know uh, days since the sunday etc etc so all this information are stored in this structure tm so i want you guys to have a look at this structure tm and uh, just remember the members available with this structure and also you know what's going to be the value stored in that uh, you know members for example uh, the you know time underscore m day which is gonna store the day of the month 1 to 31 and uh, you know this uh, tm underscore w day which stores the day since sunday so you know 0 to 6 it means uh, sunday is 0 then you know monday is 1 tuesday is 2 similarly you know saturday is 6 so after you guys you know have uh, you know after after you guys have you know understood the structure elements properly i want you guys to you know open up um, our program okay now uh, in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna use uh, three functions one is called uh, time next uh, another one is called local time and another one is called you know the uh, gm time so i'm gonna explain the syntax of these three functions you know what are the parameters they're gonna take what are the values they're gonna return and also you know how we can use them so first we're gonna begin with this time function so this time function returns the current calendar time of the system and as a parameter you can pass the pointer to a variable of type uh, you know time underscore t which is a type for defined in this time.h header file another thing is when you pass the address of a variable of type uh, time underscore t and this time function is going to assign the calendar time to that uh, you know passed variable and uh, you know if you pass a null value here you know it's just gonna return the current calendar time okay the next function that we're gonna have a look is about this local time function this local time function is gonna return the pointer to the broken down time 
you know in the form of a tm structure you know that structure contains all the details uh, like you know seconds minutes hour year etc etc and you know the time is represented in a uh, local time and also the parameter it takes is a uh, is of type uh, time underscore t can be obtained with a call on uh, you know this uh, time function and also the structure you know which is used to hold the broken down time which is returned by this uh, local time function will be statically allocated and uh, is overwritten each time this local time function is called so if you want to save the you know uh, contents of that structure then you need to copy that okay the next function that we're going to have a look at is the gm time function this gm time function is going to return a pointer to the broken down form of uh, time in the form of a tm structure you know similar to the local time and also the time is represented in coordinated universal time utc you know which is essentially a greenwich mean time and the parameter which is you know the pointer to the time which it can be obtained by a call to this uh, time function uh, if the system does not support uh, you know the coordinated universal time then uh, you know a null value will be returned by this gm time function and also the structure returned uh, by this uh, gm time function to hold the broken down time is statically allocated and is overwritten each time the gm time function is called that's why you know if you guys want to store the contents of the structure then uh, you know you must copy that before calling this function again so now we're gonna see you know how we can use these functions in our program and obtain the date and time okay now we're gonna start writing the code so first i'm gonna create uh, two pointers so it's gonna be struct of structure tm so struct tm then uh, we need two pointers one to store you know the time returned by this uh, local time function so i'm gonna call that as local another one to store the time returned by this uh, gm time function and uh, i'm gonna call it as uh, gm and the next thing that we're gonna do is that we need a uh, uh, time underscore t uh, variable so it's gonna be time underscore t and uh, let me call it as t okay next we're gonna call the time function and store that value in the variable t so it's gonna be t equal to time and you know we're gonna pass a null value and this time function is gonna return the current calendar time of the system okay the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use the local time function and the store the return value in this uh, pointer local so it's gonna be local time and we need to pass the address of this uh, variable t so it's going to be ampersand t here okay next so next what we can do is we can uh, you know get the time and date so i'm going to use a printf function to format printf first i'm going to print out the time so that's why i'm going to say time um, let me add an arrow you now just to make it pretty first we're going to write um, hour and then add a colon next uh, uh you know the minutes add a colon and next the seconds after that what we need to do is we need to point to the members of this um uh, structure tm you know by using this um pointer local that's why i'm gonna write local and we're gonna use the arrow operator because you know we are working with the pointers and next i'm gonna open up the time.h header file and you can see here to get the hour we need to pass tm underscore hour then to get the minutes tm underscore min and also you know to get the seconds tm underscore sec so i'm gonna write um, tm underscore hour and next local arrow operator tm underscore min i think is next um, local arrow operator tm underscore sec okay this is it i'm gonna save this one now execute compile and run 
okay we have a error undeclared okay I have used a capital here it should be small you know don't make any uh, mistake like this execute compile and run okay you can see here the current time is you know 10 which is an hour 54 is a minute and 29 is a second now if I run this program again you can see here you know 10 54 41 so time is changing 